the modeling example is quite simple at this point. We will use a simple quadratic block with an edge length of 30 and uh, a spline like punch where we only will model the um, order spline and it has a width so to say also of 30 and a height of and a height of 20. So um, quite simple to set up. Oh, why, why, why this is happening? We will therefore create two parts, a discrete rigid body, the spline, and we will uh, specify, I hope we can talk about this in the future a bit more, uh, this thing called reference point on the top left. And we, oh, come on. We will use um, some different global seedings to show the effect of coarse mesh versus uh, fine mesh. And we will the first time take a look at the curvature control, uh, which influences how many uh, nodes are placed on a specific curvature. The, we will use plane stress as beginning with reduced integration and we can also check with or without enhanced hourglassing. We talked about this in a previous episode. I hope that our aluminum will still be there in our material library. Uh, if you forgot the data, just take the material data from our last video. And later on, we will define the block as a solid and not as a shell, because in this case, it is a 2D continuum element and not a, so to say, a shell-like surface. So it's very important we will choose solid because the CP uh, S4R element, the plane, continuum plane stress, models a continuum solid body. It's very important. Uh, sign in a section, assembly, yeah, and a geom on, basically it's standard. Um, and then when it comes to interaction, there we, we, can, we can talk about some different stuff and then compare it uh, so we can uh, have a standard master slave to definition. So the spline, our punch will be master because it's rigid, it's stiff, so we follow that rule. And But we can also see the differences if we use surface to surface and no to surface tracking. Um, the interaction, yeah, we can also uh, check out some things here. Uh, hard contact with friction, uh, hard contact without friction, or if we have soft contact, then we can maybe uh, check out some difference there. Or if we decide, okay, we go with linear, then uh, we can see the differences to the hard contact so that we can hopefully see some penetration. Um, basically, the reference point will move downward by 10 units per second and the entire bottom of the block will be encastered. Okay, now we have a black screen. Uh, see you on the other side. <laughs>